What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys Android versus iPhone. Android versus iPhone. <laughs> you see the mirror. Okay. So if you guys are wondering what the difference is, there's many differences. I actually live with both Android and iPhone and they're both rooted, well rooted, jailbroken, obviously same thing. Just they call rooted with Android and jailbroken with iPhone. So one has Cydia and one just has root access to applications. Um, there's a lot to go over in this video, I'm not gonna lie. So there's a lot a lot different. Um, if I had to go through each one, I would say both had advantages, they both have disadvantages. Um, it's it's really hard to tell depending on who you are, what you're comfortable with. You know, this this is, this could depend. Um, personally, this is my experience with everything going on with both devices I have and I'll let you guys know. So malware um, viruses wise, Android is not the way to go. Android is more likely to get malware or viruses from installing APKs and all that stuff. You have more freedom with an Android than an iPhone. Um, there's no revotes on an Android. So on iPhone, you know, you get revotes. And then if you have absolutely unified with jailbreak, obviously that would stop that. But then you have to re jailbreak. I mean, you have to be in a jailbreak state for that. Also, jailbreaking wise, when you turn your device off on iPhone and Android, your iPhone, you know, you have to re jailbreak it, which could be a pain. It could be easy sometimes. But your Android, you turn all the turn back on, it's always rooted. So that's that's a big difference right there between which one you want to choose. Um, if your device turns off a lot, I would highly suggest an Android. It's way more convenient because you don't have to re root. You're already rooted forever. Even, you know, if you turn the device off, turn back on, you're, also, you're still rooted. Your iPhone, now nah, you have to read jailbreak. Um, we haven't had like a jailbreak where you turn the device on and off since like iOS 9. That's still stuck. So when you turn the device off and on our iPhone for like iOS, I think 10 and up pretty much, or even like for iOS 12 and 13 and 14, you have to read jailbreak using a, a tool. So Check Rain, um, Odyssey, uh, Cover, um, Electro, well, Electro for iOS 13, um, Torin for iOS 14. So I think it's one of the tools. I also want to say that jailbreaking, in my opinion, is way easier than rooting. So we used to have these one one tool roots um like kingo root where we just literally press on root and then it will root it so those i would told that those are fake those are fraud they're not um most of them are malware and, and malicious uh data on that and like malicious files so you be don't i would stay away from that um i did back in the day i did actually use a one tool root which i forgot what it was and it did work so not all of them are viruses but nowadays like with the newer androids none of those tools are going to work i mean you have like a one percent chance it's going to work i mean if you have an old android there's a better chance it'll work but like I said, with an iPhone, you literally tap on, you can use Uncover, as long as you get it, you know, when signed, uh, you literally tap on, like, jailbreak, and then you're done. On Rudin, um, or you, if you use a check ring, like, you literally download on check ring. You literally download a program, you tap on jailbreak, and that's it. And you follow the stop. You follow the, uh, the prompts. On check, on uh, root, the root of the device, you have to use, if you use, like, the magic root, you have to, like, do a lot, extract different stuff, use a computer for it, and then it's just a kind of complicated process. So, like, e like jailbreaking and rooting-wise, like, which one's easier to do it? 100% say iPhone is way easier to jailbreak than it is to root an Android. <clears throat> I wish they had like a one tool root like uncover with jailbreak with an iPhone. I wish they had like, you know, a legit like easy, you tap on one click button and you can root it or you can download like, some kind of program like check rain, but to root your device and you just tap on like root and then it does it for you. You connect your device to your computer and you can root your device. I wish, but there's no such thing that I know of, of that. Um, if you look up like a lot of videos on like different root and different jailbreak stuff, Jailbreaking is definitely more popular in my opinion. Rudin died a lot and Jailbreaking did die too, but I think Jailbreaking is still more popular. You're gonna find a lot of, I'm not, you're gonna find a lot of Indians when you type in like root stuff or stuff associated with root, like Freedom or Lucky Patcher, Game Guardian. Um, so a lot of it's like, there's not, there's not really that much like legit that I can find, like legit YouTubers for like Rudin and for Android devices. Like 100%, like you find so much more like YouTubers and legit YouTubers for iPhone, like Jailbreaking and iOS stuff. Um, that's just my opinion though. A lot of like, like I said, malware, viruses, like speed wise, they're 100% affect Android more than iPhone. Like iPhones still get viruses, don't be wrong, but they are hardly noticeable. Like performance wise, iPhone is way better performance wise. Like just speed wise and download stuff, um, iPhone is definitely better performance wise, but being able to get that freedom to install anything, definitely say Android. You have way more like freedom with it. And then apps not being able to get revoked, something I love. When we go deep into, if we dive deep into the Play Store or App Store, I would 100% go with the Play Store. Play Store, you're going to have like a lot of cool apps. Some, some, of, them some of them got removed. But on the App Store, they're so, Apple is so strict with what they will allow you to download and install. Android, you can literally go install APKs. You go in the app, the Play Store and install, you know, Wi-Fi exploit apps and, you know, all kinds of different kind of apps. 
um, on the on iPhone, they don't allow that for some reason. Like they don't, they are very very picky. Apple's always been picky. So, Freedom download applications like Easy Access download applications, I would hundred percent go with Android. It's just the malware like on Android is really bad because there's like a lot of stuff that people inject ads with, inject malware with, and viruses. And Androids definitely get viruses way more easier and more noticeably than iPhone. So that's uh that's pretty much most of what I have to say. Since one is Android and one is iPhone, they obviously have different operating systems, so it depends on what you're more comfortable with, what you like more. And I'm definitely just more comfortable and familiar with the iPhone, so I would 100%, 100% go with that. And also the camera-wise, unless you have like a really, really new camera, the iPhone camera is way better in my opinion. Like this one, I know it's, it's LG V30, which is, it was made in like 2018, maybe 2017, or maybe 2016, but, and this one was made in like 2018, so they're kind of familiar, but this iPhone like camera, Compared to this camera, this camera's like very laggy, um, you know, stops for a second. Like, it's not bad, but it's very, very laggy. Even when you take pictures, it's like very laggy. An iPhone, never have that issue. Like, recording wise, taking pictures wise, it's beautiful. An iPhone, I mean, an Android's not bad, but when you take videos and, and you move your screen around, like your camera around, it is very, very laggy. Also, I want to mention, well, two lessons I want to mention is popularity wise. The Android is more popular than the iPhone, believe it or not. But, 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 there are a ton of Androids. There's LGs, there's like Hawaiians, there's um, the Samsungs. There's like way, way different kind of Androids. And you have Google Pixels, which are similar to Android's operating system. Um, so there's a ton of like different type of Androids. iPhone wise, you have one iPhone. As in, there's iPhone like, you know, different kind of iPhones. But like brand wise, there's, you know, iPhone 5, iPhone this, iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. But like I said, there's Androids like the, like the main topic. But there's many, many, many of I, I mean Androids. There's like, like I said, there's LGs, there's V30s, Hawaiians. There's like at least 50 or 30 type of brands of Androids uh, or topics of Androids, whatever. And an iPhone, there's just one type of iPhone. Just, I mean, there's different, there's different iPhones, but you have way more like to choose from. You have way more Androids to choose from than iPhones. So having both these phones, I did learn a lot um, and just experiencing them every day. I learned a lot too. Um, boot loop wise, I just got to go boot loop on the Android and iPhone. If you're, as long as you're like, an, kind of like checking what you're installing like tweak wise on the iphone you should be fine um you just gotta be really careful i, I have a, like a backup device from recording with right now i would recommend having a backup device on iphone and android um like basically same device that you have as like a just a backup one install stuff first to make sure nothing goes wrong um on your iphone and android i would definitely say that like android is better as in like downloading something and like not getting a boot loop because you're selling apks but the apks it does tell you the permissions, which is pretty cool, of like what it's getting permission to. So if you see something that like is getting permission to something that you don't, you know, that you, that you that doesn't need it, it's that's very, very suspicious. I would not install it. And also, and make sure you install APKs from trustworthy sources. There's so much scams and fraud on Androids. iPhones, you could cut you could tell if it's legit or not, but on Android, as long as it's starting from like a legit like source, you should be fine. And the last thing I want to mention is that Androids are kind of like dying as in root wise. Um, just because we had Desploit, which was my favorite back in the day, it basically allows you to like turn on, turn on the Wi-Fi, and I don't want to really talk about it too much, I guess, because I don't want this video getting taken down. But Desploit was a really really amazing tool. You could like kind of monitor your Wi-Fi. I'll leave it like that. And um, you also have Freedom, which was like a like it faked the gift card way in like the Play Store, and that allowed you pretty much to like get free stuff. That's all I want to say about that. Uh, hopefully, this video is gonna take it down. But uh, those two, I love those two like apps. But like. They haven't updated in years, and they don't work on like the latest Androids. Even like Android, they only work on like Android like up to uh, Android seven point zero, and right now we're like Android eleven or twelve or something like that around there. So they haven't been working in years. So that's only like support wise. I feel like you can get more support wise out of an iPhone. Uh, I think there's more creators and developers doing stuff for iPhones, and you have more flexibility with an iPhone than with an Android in that way because people don't really do too much with an Android. Like every tool I found was like old. The best tool I did find on Android was Game Guardian, which is my favorite one. Lucky Patches amazing and i use hack app data which is really cool really that's the one thing i really like about android is that that app that app that i cannot get on iphone uh pretty much allows you to like have your apps you see your preferences you can modify like your different preferences so it shows you like your coins shows you like all the stuff like one of the things was like one you know it's a single player so in single player it says amount of players one but you guys can change it to two players so it's kind of like cool stuff some games apps don't have anything down there it depends on how the the developer of the app or game stores their data so but for the most part, it's really, really cool tool. That's what like that's like one of my favorite tools on Android. But those are the three tools I really use that works on like the latest up Android. But everything else is pretty much like outdated. I tried like a bunch of stuff and it wasn't working. But if you have a stable Android, stable iPhone, 
and you're watching what you install, you install it from touch by three sources, you should be fine. But like I said, I always be safe to grab like an extra Android or extra iPhone. You know, it's, it's worth the pan extra money because, you know, you could break your phone and you'd be screwed out all your money and you'd be lose, you lose everything. So uh, when you ruin and jailbreak, it's definitely risky. But uh, besides root jailbreak, just looking at the phones itself, I would go either one. I mean, it depends on what the kind of person you are. It depends on what you want from a phone. Um, they're both really good phones. But I would obviously get a strong Android or strong, or just get like a newer iPhone because obviously the old Androids are complete trash. But the new, the newer Androids, they're actually pretty good. Like they're they work pretty good. Good graphics. They're strong phones for the most part. Like iPhones. iPhones overall, I think they're really strong phones. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. If you guys, if I left anything out, leave down in the comments down below. But uh, I think I got everything that I want to talk about in this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.